so far we've talked about a lot of different things now i would like to go back a little bit so that we can talk about path how to create paths in svg and of course ultimately how to create paths using d3 so far we've learned how to create a lot of different primitive shapes such as lines rectangles circles and so forth when we talk about path the path class in SVG, we are talking about ways in which we can create customized shapes. Okay, so in SVG, the straight SVG code, this is how you would create a path. Okay, so at first, you may think that this is very complicated, right? Because in, after all, you have this tag line there that says path, and then we have D. So every time we want to create a path in SVG, we put path. Okay, tag, and then inside we put D attribute to say now we're going to start putting together there um, a string which will be our path that we want to draw. Okay, so inside we have M5050, we have L100, and then another L, um, lowercase L250Z. This is just gibberish at first look, but let's dissect this a little bit. Look at this path code as some sort of like a composition, right? We're composing a nice melody or something like that. So let's go and deconstruct what's happening there. So the letter M signifies that is the point at which we will put our pencil or our pen. So imagine that you have a pencil or a pen and you have a white paper. Whenever we say M5050, the 50, the first 50 is going to be x axis and the other 50 or the next number is going to be the y value so we're saying now pick up the pencil or the pen and move it to x 50 and y 50. okay so just imagine you open your pen or your pencil and you have your white paper and you just go to the 50 50 pixels x and y okay that's all we're not doing anything and then the next thing we have is l well l means let's start drawing in this case we also add two other numbers so x and y so now we're saying here when we say l 100 100 we're saying draw a line to 100 100 so from where we start we want to draw a line from where we start where we say m 50 50 right we want to draw a line to x 100 y 100 and then we draw it so we could have added many other l's notice the difference one is uppercase and the next one is lowercase now the lowercase is a little bit interesting because the lowercase we're saying l in this case lowercase move from current position 25 to the right why is it 25 to the right because x is 25 and then zero is indeed the y we're not moving the y direction we are moving 25 pixels or units to the right all right and of course the last thing we have here is z z it says now we kind of done so let's complete this line go back to where we started but let's complete the loop per se now let's put all of this into code so that it makes more sense okay let's do that